One of the greatest characters of our hobby, Felipe Oliveira, has just left us a couple days ago. Of course, by the time you see this, uh, a couple of weeks have passed, and today I want to share with you my personal feelings about him and build a tank in his memory. This one is for you, my friend. My very first aquascape was inspired by an image I found online, a bonsai tree underwater. Actually at that time I had no idea who made it and it took me a while, actually after meeting Felipe, that I realized it was him, the tree man, who inspired my first work. We've seen many iterations of this team ever since. Actually, Felipe himself has made it a couple times, evolving his own idea. And today I'm gonna give another go to making a bonsai escape. Just like me, many others have been inspired by his work over the years. Now this is something that we see very often, successful aquascapers giving ideas to newcomers in the hobby or even to people who have been in the hobby for years. What set Felipe aside was his connection with aquascapers around the world. Whenever his name comes up in a conversation, everyone says they either met him in person or they talked to him online in some form. And he was always very open to give his thoughts about your work in a very constructive way. I've met many, many aquascapers during my career, but I've never met the same level of passion about teaching what we love and teaching our hobby. Back in the old days, we used either dead bonsais or we built them from red wood piece by piece. Nowadays, it's much easier. You can get underwater aquarium designed bonsais pre-made, which makes the task a lot simpler. He enjoyed the most doing his teachings in person. He could fill up a room with laughter in a minute. He could put on a show while educating people about aquascaping in a very natural and comforting way. Felipe visited Green Aqua many times. He's had his own workshop in our gallery, but he also came on other occasions and we've always learned something new. He's had his own ways of doing things, from the core process of building an aquascape to the actual planting He's had his own way of choosing plants for his scapes, which made all of his work very noticeable. You could instinctively feel if it's made by Felipe. You could feel him coming when, without any prior notice, rain just started pouring. Rain followed him everywhere and we've always loved about this. I can't really explain this, he's just had his unique understanding of how plants behave and grow in certain environments and this helped him make every single aquascape he ever done very very natural looking. You can find a lot of his work on his own YouTube channel from 
simple builds to complicated ones and also about maintenance and footage of some of his workshops around the world. Besides his personal projects and workshops, Felipe also had a big role in one of the biggest aquascaping events or projects in the world, uh, which was Floresta Submersas in Lisbon. He worked side by side with Takashi Amano in creating the biggest aquascape in the world. Building nice aquariums is just one thing, but maintaining them for months to keep a certain shape and not just letting plants grow wherever they want is something completely different and something very difficult. Felipe took this very seriously and he maintained his own tanks whenever he could, or he gave out very strict instructions about how he wants his capes to be maintained if they were somewhere else like in the Green Aqua Gallery. That's way more difficult than it sounds. Giving instructions to someone to achieve a look that you want without being able to actually show them. Last year at Interzoo, we've had a great dinner with Felipe and his second family, Esther and Barbie, from Aquaflora. With Aquaflora, he created a lot of scapes, both around the world during his workshops and in Esther's garden in the Aquaflora headquarters. In this gallery, he was also leading the maintenance team to make sure that every tank is spotless all the time, and he also traveled there quite often to be hands-on with the maintenance team and to do a lot of his work in person himself. If you want to share your own memories about Felipe with his family and friends and other aquascapers around the world, there is a site at Forever Missed in his memory. You can find the link in the description of this video. A few months ago, it just suddenly struck me that my son has his name Felipe in the Hungarian form Philip. Now this is a complete coincidence, but it actually made me very happy to have this connection because I always connect names to certain characters and now my son reminds me of someone that always made me laugh and whom with I always had great conversations. When I told Felipe about this, that turned out to be a last conversation and I'm glad to be able to say goodbye to him like that. Rest in peace, my friend. Thank you.